Hey, what's up? It's Sheila Matthews with a special edition of Logged In from NBA Summer League, and I'm here with Moses Moody. What's up, Moses? What's going on? What's up, champ? I'm sorry. Let me let me run it back. That's what you are. Yep. How does that feel to hear that? Do you think it's ever gonna get old? I don't think so. It's the, the feeling. I, we worked so hard to get it, and the bond and the relationship that I got with my teammates after that is that's that's always gonna take me back there. For sure. So talk to me about how the parade was because I was watching on Twitter and y'all were having the time of your lives. Man, man, I described it earlier as a uh, holy cannoli. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was fun. Somebody had a Little Rock sign out there. It was, it was, yeah, it was cool. Speaking of Little Rock, a little birdie told me someone's taking the trophy back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. You yeah. excited? Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Just all, all the kids, everybody uh, back home. You know, when I was young, I would have done anything to see NBA play. Joe Johnson was from the city. He came back and played and all that, but uh, them to be able to have the trophy and take it around, that's gonna be cool. That's dope. So speaking of Summer League, you've been balling. Dropped 34 points. Oh, like, yeah. how, talk to me about your Summer League experience from years in the past to now. Like, how has it changed for you? Yeah, it's completely different. Uh, you know, last year probably had other factors involved, like COVID and things. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a rookie coming in, not really knowing much. But now I'm, you know, more accustomed to Summer League, far from a vet in the real world. But I'm, I've, I've been here before, I've seen it before. And it's cool, like, having, you know, everybody courtside, Dre at the game, all my dudes, they was all there. And being on that platform, being on that stage, it's a fun, fun place to perform. So to your point, you definitely have a lot of vets around you too, who have been helping and pouring into you. So what's the best advice that you've gotten from Steph, Clay, Draymond? A lot of the things that I really learned from them is because I ask questions, I do that when I feel that, when I have that, but I feel like the best way to really learn and pick up game is just to pay attention to what they're doing, to what they're saying, what they're talking to, what they're saying to other people. Some one of them might not have the same conversation with me as they will with each other or with Andre. So I'm just going to be listening to how they communicate and watch what they do, so just pay attention. So I know we were talking about how the Bay is very different from Little Rock. Yeah. So on an off day in the Bay, what do you do? Like, what's your vibe? On an off day in the Bay, I'm going to start it off by going to Black Bear Diner. Okay. I love pancakes. Okay. And they got some of the best pancakes. Okay. So I'm going to go there in the morning. Given that it's an off day, I'll probably utilize that and not do nothing. I'm chilling at Just the crib, chill. watching a movie. So yeah. what's your favorite type of pancake now that we know that's your thing? Oh, keep it simple. Keep it, keep simple. it simple. Yeah, if I go to IHOP, then I, I mix it up a little bit, get creative. But right other than that, straight up. So now I want you to put me on because something about you and your Instagram, like you're a fashion killer. Like when you put that on, you put that on. So like what are some of your favorite brands right now? It's funny that you say that because I'm actually not, I'm not very big on fashion what? and all that. What? Your fits hit. I mean, I like to look good. Okay, but, that's fair. That's but I'm, fair. Yeah, I'm not like, I, I know some dudes are really into it yeah. and all that. And I ain't never been that. So you just naturally just fly as what you're I guess so. Okay. Guess so now so. I want to know about your music. So put me on. What are you listening to when you're on these flights? Mm -hmm. What's your playlist getting? Yeah, it all depends on the depends on the feeling. Like on my vibes, I got playlists in my phone. So they go from, you know, I'm, I, I go rap and all that. I can go lyrical rap. I can go like vibes rap. I can switch it all the way up if you want to. You want to sing? Mm -hmm. You know, I got some Adele in there. Uh oh. Alicia Keys. If I want to be on that type of time, yeah, it depends on how I'm feeling. Okay, so when you said the Alicia Keys, the Adele, the old school singing, what's that one song that when you hear it, you sing it at the top of your lungs, like you don't care? Uh, what's the name? What's the name? He sing. He sing that all. Uh, John Legend. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's one of them. Uh huh. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a few songs in there that I go crazy with. Let me find out you be singing. Hey, I can't sing, but I will <laughs> by myself. So let's play a game now let's called Vibe Check. I'm going to check your vibe. I'm going to say some lyrics, mm -hmm. and I need you to finish them for me. OK, I'm going to start you off easy. It's 7 o'clock on the dot. Where is Usher? 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm in the drop top. Yeah, OK, yeah, OK, there we go. Yeah. You got it, you got it. OK, according to Kanye West, she couldn't afford a car, so she named her daughter what? Uh, Mercedes. Alexis, but you know what? Uh, we're in the luxury family, yeah, so yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're close. We're going, okay. According to Gunna, he took the top off, and now he's dripping like what? Hot sauce. Come on. I'm doing a lot better than I thought. Come on, Moses. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You trying to look at the questions? I did a little uh -huh, bit. Uh-huh, I saw I, that. I, I mm -mm. It, <laughs> According to NBA Youngboy, in what state can you probably find his heart? He's from Louisiana, so I'll go with that. I don't know the song. Nevada. Ah, okay. Okay. I still didn't know it. How long did Keith Sweat want to make it last for? You gotta get your R and B, your nineties yeah, R and B up yeah, forever. That, that ain't, you never gonna make it last forever. Maybe. 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 When you but, hear it. Yeah, maybe I gotta hit a beat and all that too. 
how do you spell independent? I'll sing it with you. But you, you gotta <laughs> sing it with me, though. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay. I N D E P E N T E N T. Do you know what that means? She got her own. Come on. She got her own. Okay. Come on, Moses. Moses has passed the vibe check. Thanks for playing with me. No problem. You got your more points than you thought. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is Sheila Matthews with a special edition of Logged In from NBA Summer League with Moses Moody.